Is it that time already? Is it that time already? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. It's Monday. I just got off work. Psych, I'm just getting my work started, baby. Y'all just got off work. Some of y'all. Y'all at home chilling. Y'all at home chilling. What up, Daniel? What up, Ashley? What up, Chaz? What up, Alexander? What up, Brandy? What up, Louisiana Animal? What up, FaZe? What up, April? Boom! You in here. I see you up in here. Max, wait, Maxify? Maxify? What up? What up? Got some channel members up in here. What up, Tony Montana? Serenity, what's going on? Melody, what's going on? Javonna, always good to see you up in here. She never misses a show. Never misses a show. But, uh, yeah. I guess it's only time. I guess it's only right that I start this show off proper. What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. All right, y'all, so I got an announcement. I got an announcement to make, but first, I want to make sure y'all can hear me. We ain't lagging, right? We, we smooth. I'm kind of streaming on Twitch right now as well just for the heck of it, you know, and I noticed when my computer has been up and running for a couple of days without being turned off, it kind of make things iffy sometimes, you know what I'm saying, but, um, hell, we're going to find out today, we just going to find out, so, we got a new channel member, what's going up there, how you say your name, Joanne, shout out to you, thank you so much, we're doing good, we're looking good, Sorry. Ain't nobody call you, Siri. Dang. Did y'all hear me say anything about... I'm not sure I'm hearing you correctly. My apologies. Yeah, you better apologize because ain't nobody talking to you. I'm talking to them. Not you. Dang. What the heck she tripping on today? Look, Siri, ain't nobody got time for your BS now. We got a show to do here. You understand? Don't you get back on here talking mess. All right? Don't, I don't want to hear another peep out of you unless I call your name. Ain't this how it work? I thought that's what Apple told us we had to do. We had to say your name first. Ain't nobody say Siri. Okay. We good. I think she got the, the memo. I think she got the message now. I look, look. I, tur I turn you off. Think I'm playing. Think I'm playing. <laughs> she, shoo, she got the wrong one. I so Look, I ain't scared to smack a Siri inside the head. Anyway. Uh, we good? Okay, look like we, we smooth. We, 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 we good. Anyway, uh, what was I? Siri got me all kinds of messed up right now, talking smack. Three children were just, oh no, that's crazy. Where in the world do you live at? Sorry to hear that. My condolences goes out to the family. <sighs> okay, so... We got enough people in here. Let me go ahead and make my little announcement. Y'all, next month, month of July, is going to be the last month that I do live streams for a while. It's going to be the last month that I do live streams for a few months. I can't say what I'm working on. I promise you it's not at all what you think it is, but yeah. It ain't going to be no live streams for a while. So, catch them while you can, because y'all ain't going to be getting them after July. After July, okay? And this Friday, um, hey, hold on, Friday is, what's Friday, y'all? Friday is, let me check the calendar right quick. Yeah, Friday too. I will not be here for a Friday night's live stream. I got, um, we're doing the 4th of July celebration at my buddy's house, but he couldn't get the 4th off, so we're doing it this Friday instead, um, and I might go early, early in the day, it just depends, so there may not be a live stream at all, maybe I can do it early, maybe not, don't get your hopes up, there may not be a live stream this Friday, okay, 
But nonetheless, we're here today. That's what matters. Just wanted to give y'all a few little announcements for this first five minutes, but we're about to get this party started because Eric Martinez, new channel member, thank you. Y'all getting a channel member only live chat coming soon, either tomorrow. I think we're going to just, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to be hanging out. I'm going to be talking to you guys a great deal. And then I'm going to probably have my elite members um, send me some requests, some stuff to react to just randomly. Just randomly. But anyway, we're about to get this thing rolling. Eric Op, hey, I ain't seen that. That's pretty cool. Thank you for the $20 donut tote. Y'all ready to get go? Y'all ready to get ghost? Now, this first video is kind of long, about 25 minutes. So, we going to be in here a little while. Ooh, look, this is the. Excuse me? Why did the door just open? Hold on, y'all. Who are you? Oh, heck no. Nah. Let me lock the door. Oh, heck no. Nah. I don't like hearing doors creak open behind me and I look down and there's just a long dark hallway. I'm the only one here. It better be that way. I need to get a a, 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 a priest or somebody to come make sure I am the only one here. Anyway. <sighs> Y'all, this is the scariest videos that you cannot watch in the dark. That's an appropriate enough title. Y'all boys, girls, ready? I'm ready. Let's go. The following video was shared by Tony Noguera. This evening, he had recorded his young son dancing to some music. It was one of these ordinary family recordings at first. Not the best quality, and basically something you'll watch once, and then never think of ever again. However, after Tony had posted the video on his profile, somebody realized that there seemed to be something else on the footage. Yeah, look at Liza, go like this. Liza. Hey. Oh, another person in the Liza, room. Liza, look at. Hey. Who's that? Liza, go like this. It's another person in there. Yeah. Y'all see it? It's another person. Were you dancing to uh, some Green Day? Yeah. Let's go. It's another person. It looked like there's two people. Or a kid. See, the kid even looked at the person. Come on now. Dude, are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? There's another person in the room. So are you telling me... Alright, this, this is what I'm thinking is going to happen. This video gets uploaded to the internet. People freak out because there's somebody else in the room. Thinking it might be a ghost or a spirit. The person that originally uploaded the video, which is probably the person that's filming the video right now, is playing along with this whole thing of there being a ghost or an entity or a spirit in the room. When they knew darn well that they just had somebody else in the room with them, the kid looked at the person. It looked like somebody was either sitting in a corner or either the kid or it, or it was another kid because it was at the same eye level as the kid. Look, just another kid. His child is looking at something, but at what exactly? At another kid, somebody in there. Look, there's a person there. There's a person. Right? It's a person. It's a person. It looks like another child is standing in the back for. Yeah, look like another kid. Very brief moment. People say that they see the child moving in from the right and exiting to the left. Nah. He was already there. After Tony's kid makes direct eye contact with it, it disappears. What a strange and bone chilling encounter. Someone stated that this other kid seems to be wearing a sleeping outfit and that it is quite unnatural how easily it disappears from the shot seconds after appearing. 
The child's silhouette is completely off. There's no clear reflection at the time. The mirror in the scene does show the dancing kid's reflection, however. That's pretty mysterious. Was the family visited by a real ghost child here? Or are we looking at something demonic even? Really creepy to say the least. I'm sorry for your loss, Joanne. Thank you for Thank you for watching the channel. And I'm glad that I can put a smile on your face when I can. Today's video is brought to you by this week's video sponsor, NordVPN. Get your NordVPN, mofo. It is an official platform, for example. Two-year plan. I hope inside the family home. He is quite... I hope you all... And use... He got a discount code. Ooh. Hey. It's always good to use a discount code for a VPN. I'll tell you that right now. Get it cheap! I'll stay safe out there. The next video is quite the interesting one. It was shared by Felix L. And it was recorded by a security camera mounted outside the family home. Tell me the homeowner it. was alarmed by his dog barking outside. He also seemed to be running around and uh, perhaps even playing with something. Nothing too crazy to be honest, right? But there was a mysterious detail that first went unnoticed. A little cloud seems to be floating by, just moments before the homeowner steps out of the house to check on the dog. Bro, what the freak? It looked like a ghost or something, a spirit left this dog's body. Y'all saw that? Wilfred, don't be playing with me, boy. I ain't no that. You ain't see nothing. You a lie. <laughs> Thanks for the $20 dono. Nah, bro. Y I know y'all saw that ghost left this dog body. A little cloud seems to be floating by. That ain't no cloud, that's a spirit. Just moments before the homeowner steps out of the house to check on the dog. The interesting part of it is that the family had lost one of their pets recently. This is at least what a commentator in the ghost forum stated. Is it safe to assume that their dog was perhaps playing with a lost friend that night? Or is it just the dog's breath appearing to be some form of cloud or orb? What do you think? Nah, Kelly, ain't nobody changing the routine, girl. Ain't nobody changing the routines. I told y'all, things are gonna change. When the world opened back up, stuff was gonna happen. Y'all, we got almost 1,200 people in the live stream already. First 15 minutes. Why? Not even. I know they are, Emily. They're very much so. Following was posted by Queen of Cups to the paranormal section of Reddit. She states that these pictures were taken in September of 2019 at the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. She went with her husband and two kids on a weekday and it was very slow. They only had three other people on the tour with them. The rooms were roped off so no one was in sight when these pictures were taken. However, we can clearly see a figure on the left side of the photo. There was no way anyone could be... Can I just say that this is a horrible arrow? This is a horrible arrow, man. It's like they use their fingers on the app. It's a horrible, horrible arrow. Don't this supposed to be like in the middle right here? And then what is it pointing at? Is it pointing at this? Because it's definitely not pointing at whatever the heck this is. Over there. They were all next to their host anyway, apparently. Legends speak of a man with a hat that died in there a long time ago. Could we be seeing this spirit in the following image? Or is it just paranoia after all? Nah, it might be somebody that we just... They, it might just be somebody's reflection off in the distance. Nah, that's black. I don't... That's black. What do you think? It might be a spirit. That was black. 
The following video was forwarded by Entian and initially published by Pasillo. It was recorded in an old house by a young man who states that paranormal activity has become an almost daily occurrence. He moved in recently and didn't really think anything of the activity for the first couple of weeks. Loud noises and things falling down, in most cases, can have a rational explanation, right? But when he started to see the shadow of a little kid once in a while, he realized that something else was going on. The man has no pets, so whatever he recorded in this video lacks any kind of explanation, at least for him. I know what the problem is, bro. You got this little chair. You got this little bitty chair that you ain't sitting in. That Why you got that little chair? You must be welcoming a, a kid spirit in your house. What is he looking at on the camera here? Oh, damn car about scared the mess out of me. This saw the car in the window. What you recording, bro? Mommies. No mommies. Y'all heard him? He said no mommies. Oh, no mommies. Strange wife. morning can be heard, which freaks our cameraman out quite a bit. But due to the fan and the car noises outside, it's not really possible to pinpoint exactly where it might have originated from. Oh, Mama's wet. Oh, it's a fan right there. Big old fan. Making all that noise. No mama's. No mama's wet. Bruh, who the heck spotted that before? It's so hard this to make out. appear like a pair of eyes, which, based on him having no animals, is quite the unusual sighting, if we believe him, of course. That don't look like eyes. That just look like the glow of something. There's also something else, hiding behind the sofa chair. I don't but see what it. exactly is it? Almost impossible to say, in my opinion. That, that, gone it. Look, man, the, the video footage didn't look that bad at first. How come it's getting worse? How come the video footage is getting worse? I get it, you zoomed in, but no, even on the zoom in, it wouldn't look this bad. Come on now, we extorting the video and it's making it go from decent to potato. Could it be a real haunting here? What the heck going on with this video footage? I can't make it out. No mama's, no mama's way shirt, or just no mama's. Should I put no mama's way on the t-shirt or no mama's this time? I'm gonna bring them back and do them right this time. I might just put no mummies or no mummies way. Y'all let me know. This video was found in the paranormal section of. Shout out to Chris, new channel member, big baby. The tunnels of an old mine. They were going on trips together quite frequently and found some really strange stuff in some of these tunnels, to say the least. But this video was a bit different than the others. As they were making it through the abandoned mine shafts, the man filming can capture something without even noticing it at the time. Yeah, Miss R. Hicks, you um, you might want to call somebody over there to get that spirit out your house, cause uh, yeah, yeah, that, your cat sees something that you don't, you know. Miss Jenkins, shout out to you. Thank you for the twenty dollar dono. I would not be there. Yes. There's a white walker in there. Y'all saw that? I know y'all saw that. It was a black man. Or man of black. Look at that. Bam! Right there. There's a loud shadow standing in the distance. The men were sure that it couldn't have been caused by any of the two. And there was nobody else in there. After a quick pan, this shadow has just vanished. The shadow itself also is looking quite a bit odd in terms of proportion. The hat looks quite big, but it also could be that whoever is reflected on the rocks here is wearing a jacket with a large collar. Uh -huh. Aha! No it is a reflection. I mean, it is the silhouette of this person is walking forward. But how? 
I mean, it would mean that there's a light shining from behind him. No idea what we were seeing here. It was an inexplicable event for the two men up until this day. Shout out to everybody that's dropping twenty dollar donos. Thank this you, This was Eric. captured by Chris Hollins and shared with the paranormal section. He states, this photo was taken at the haunted Jerome Grant Hotel in Arizona. My girlfriend and I took this photo while staying there about five months ago. Why? We took over 700 photos Why? and happened to capture this spirit. Why? Keep in mind, there was nobody in the hall. Are you and we sure? did not see this entity while taking the photo. Are you sure? Are you sure there was nobody in the hall? And are you sure... That you didn't see that when you took the picture. Another interesting capture is this one. Something looks familiar about this shot. He tells me in an email that this shadow was seen once more in the mirror. And that he thinks a face can be seen too. Could that be so? Why are you taking... What's so fascinating about these hallways, man? Why are we taking these pictures? Unless you're taking it specifically on something. I don't see nothing in this mirror. It's definitely a pretty mysterious capture, just like the first one. I can't make it out. I just see a potato. If nobody else was there in the hallway at that time. Can y'all see it? I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Y'all tell me what y'all see. Is there a little a black thing right here? Like a... a, a um figure a spirit but whatever this is look like it's kind of merged with that and it just looks black it just looks it just looks black can y'all see it i don't see it i'm looking for it i want to see it but i don't see it tell me what y'all see and don't cap if y'all see something that look like it's real let me know somebody says they see a dirty mirror i'm, I'm with you with the, on that one eric i see a, it it could be dirty yeah Somebody said they watch it from their kid's iPad, so uh, they can't really see it. Um, I can't really see. I can't really tell. Yeah. Nope. Yep. I'm with y'all. I don't see it. What could they have captured here exactly? A real shadow person, perhaps? Michael and Heather are a couple. Oh yeah, they're a couple of weirdos. That's what they are. Why are they wearing all this face makeup stuff? Is this Halloween already? I thought we had another four months. They'd like to tamper with the paranormal forces. They stream some of their witchy sessions to their viewership. And ever so often, some really interesting events are unfolding. But lately, as one would expect, these forces seem to make it into their house, even if they are not playing with their Ouija board. As we know, that's why you don't bring Ouija boards in your house and play with them at all in the first place. Playing with a board opens up a door. Yep, the door that I don't want to go in. That oftentimes can't be closed easily again. Hey, hey, woo. Hello? Clean the room and maybe you won't have no spirits I'm playing. Hello? Hello. Whoa. Doors don't open by themselves. Don't go in there. You st he goes in the room. Really. I, I look, I remember when I was a kid, right? And stuff like this would happen. And I would be freaked out in the house at night. And I would think there would be something in another room, like the doors cracked open and it's pitch black in that room. I'm not going, I never went and just opened the door. I would turn into a Power Ranger first and I would kick the door in. I'm like, Wah! and I just kick the door, you know what I'm saying? And then I go up in there, whoop, 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 like that. That's what I used to do. I still might do that, but y'all don't see it. He goes in there and looks to the left. I bet the thing that's going to get you is to the right. That's always how it is in the movies. It's always behind the door. Hello? Hello? Woo, woo. I feel like there's something on the bed.
What was that? What was that? Yet they decided to proceed with their live witchy sessions. On a side note. And they keep using a uh, Ouija board. Ain't, well, ain't they about dumb? Never take off your hands off the planchette without ending the session first. Uh-oh. I'm glad he told me that in case I never want to touch a Ouija board again. Look, nope, for real, I didn't even know that. Don't take your hand off without ending that thing first. Oh, they took their hands off without ending the session first. Stupid! Thank you, Amber, for the $10 dough. No. I'm freaked out. Now. Get. <laughs> hey, Amber, get you a personal trainer, sweetheart. They're worth the. They're worth the coin. Bro, that looked legit. Like, how did that fly like that? Now you don't want to do it no more. See, that's what it takes. It, it, it's like they tell you when you're a kid, man. You got to put your finger on the stove in order to feel the burn so that you would never put your finger on the stove again. This is her. She had to get burnt first. So now she would never want to do this again. I don't want to do it in the first place because I'm not stupid. I know what can happen. You open up a portal and ha! Ghosts get you. Walk right in your house. Now that the thing done flew across the room and stuff starting to happen, I don't want to do it no more. I don't want to do this no more. Shouldn't have did it in the first place, stupid. I'm freaked out now. <laughs> you freaked out? Now you should be. You heard that big old thought? As you can imagine, it didn't end there. The following night, they heard some disturbance from outside of the bedroom. Who's there? Your daddy. Did the poltergeist open all their cupboards, or were they open previously without showing us? Maybe. But it escalated even more. Around 2 a.m., an intruder seemed to start ringing their doorbell. Nobody can be seen outside their house. Strange. It seems that to this day, these events haven't really calmed down. What kind of weapon did this fool go to the door with? security cameras mounted in their home to capture all the activity. Even their pets are starting to get freaked out. What you talking about, cat? Let's see how this case develops in the future. <laughs> that cat's like, nah, cuz I'm gone. Did you see the cat? He was like, I'm good. This video was this shared is... by a young man who states that he was out on a nightly trip with friends when they saw something rather strange hovering on the other side of the road. He pulled his phone out and started recording. What caught him off guard was that with this strange sighting, there was an unusual weeping noise that he could hear stemming from that thing. Interesting. Yo, that is interesting. Bruh. If this was just a wind hose or something, why would it be illuminated? He had no explanations for this sighting. And after returning to the car a bit later that evening, the object had mysteriously disappeared, according to the uploader. Some comments even state that it looks quite similar to a head and a torso. Could this mean that we are looking at a real ghost here? What the freak, man? It looks like... there a way more plus... It looks like a tiny little person in all white with a little hoodie on and it's kind of moving and bobbing and weaving double explanation in your opinion it almost looked like a video game character 
put a hood on. I don't know what to make of that. This is enough. Yeah, we got almost 1,900 people in the live stream. Big baby, thank you. Another video captured by a security camera. It was shared by Julia and she found it on Look Now TV. The story goes that a security guard noticed that an unidentified creature had just flown by directly underneath one of the cameras he was surveilling from his office. Oh, what the freak? Yo! What the freak is that? Speculations range from the Mothman to a ba Yo, that was dope. That was dope and it had a shadow i wonder what it was that like creature perhaps some sort of strange bird even nah ain't no bird but it is abnormally big though isn't Yo, it what is that it like batman with wings it kept many viewers baffled is it maybe a cryptid the security guard had no idea either but it you know what i used to wish was real back in the day I used to wish that gargoyles were real. I wanted gargoyles to be real so bad. I used to watch that gargoyle cartoon. And I just knew they were real. Like, they came alive at night. But no, they're not real. I was sad. It was so unusual for him that he had to share this encounter. What's your best guess? I don't know what that is. It's like the Phantom of the Opera. Compound. This is a very intriguing invest He beat me on the beer game. Investigation video by our paranormal enthusiast and explorer, Southern Afterlife. Yo, he got some of my beard oil in his beard. I can tell because only my beard oil make a beard shine like that. Tonight he was traveling to a haunted compound, which he had scouted out during the day initially. But he was so intrigued that he decided to revisit this location again at night times, all by himself. The Stupid. building itself is pretty old and unfortunately not accessible to the public. Therefore, he takes a closer look at the outside area and premises. I like the little paths. They look like sand. Hello? Hello? I don't hear. I don't hear. Nope, don't, I, don't, I don't hear that. I would in be Yep, I don't hear that. I don't hear that either. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Of course there are cars driving by in the distance. I would be so terrified to look through the window. Yep, you say you watching gargoyles now? That was my show. Thank you for the twin dollar don't know. Yeah, I would be so terrified to look through one of those windows because if some look back at me, I'm fainting. I'm passing out. And I'm probably gonna boo-boo on myself. So we can't be certain what the noise was. But when he films through the window to capture what appears to be a bedroom of some sorts, what? we hear it again. I hear something, it's weird. Is it the scream of a woman from the inside? Strange to say the least. At this point, he also stated that he didn't feel alone anymore. It is said that the first owner of this place died in there. During a session with the Necrophonic app, he hears another unusual noise from around the corner. What was that? I'm on a wooden deck. It sounds like someone walking on it. You, I'm boo! The only one out. You walking on. Duh, you're the only one out there. You're on a wooden deck. It sounds like somebody walking on it. And what are you doing? You're the only one out there. You're walking on a wooden deck. Here. What the? Did something perhaps sit on this old rocking chair just moments before? Or did he rock it moments before? Which one? It certainly left him with many more questions than before. After taking another walk around the house, he captures something really odd. What up, James? Good to see you, brother. Thank you for the donut. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
is a tree. What he describes as a woman in Victorian clothing is standing just a few meters away from him. It kind of does look like somebody or something is standing there on the path. On the path, it kind of does look like that. He didn't notice her. However, his camera perhaps has. What can you see here? Could it just be part of the tree? Unlikely, say many. Perhaps the spirit of the former owner or something else. Soul Mori and her family have moved into a new house and this house turned out to be quite the interesting place. She states that the family plants can only survive in one of the many rooms of this old house and whenever they don't place them in there they just die besides other morbid stuff stored in the basement. Her new home seems to inhabit way more strangeness. Apparently in one of the upper rooms there is an unusual painting on the wall, the painting of a sun. This is Gilbert. He is a painting of a son, and he has been here since my family moved. Bro, I thought they said the painting of my son, like somebody's kid. It is believed that the previous owner painted him, but he won't tell us anything. People have tried to put wallpaper over him, but he comes back. Yo, does the son have a nose piercing? Does the son have a nose pier- Look, that's- Interesting. This room smells really strange, and I feel a really dark energy within him. Looks quite harmless to the naked eye though. No, apparently, Soul caught her little niece talking to the wall on several occasions. The young girl was having full-blown conversations with this son, which the family just refers to as Gilbert. I hear my niece talking to him, so I talk to her. Did you like him? Yes. Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Blood. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, it, is Gilbert friendly? Yeah. Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because I don't pray. Oh, heck no. Nah. We moving out tonight. We moving out tonight. And I'm not telling Gilbert or nobody, as a matter of fact, but we getting up out of there. My child talking to the son, and the son ain't After the son. After doing a lot of research. Ain't about to let my, son, my, my child talk to a son that got a nose ring with the freak. Soul could find some more info about the history of this place. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John. The mother was called Maud. And next on the balcony, here's a daughter, Dorothy. Bro, why all these people look mad weird, though? They look so prominent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see them so clearly. It's almost like they're staring into your soul. I don't like it. It creeping me out. A little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm Where? not sure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo. What they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the Hamptons Inn. Well, don't don't assume. You don't know. look. Don't assume. He could have been in the bathroom taking a poo. That's why he didn't make it into this picture. Don't assume that the parents did something to the boy. That's why he ain't in the picture. Come on now. You give it along. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. What is looking out of the window here? That ain't Gilbert. One night, after her niece had gone to bed, she investigated the room with Gilbert, where her niece was hanging out most of the time. One night, 
And, well, they found a Ouija board underneath one of the floorboards. And it had Gilbert on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Gilbert, Gilbert, whatever this child name is. He, he evil. Nope, not me. I ain't, I ain't touching it. Oh, he, he on, he really on the Ouija board. Oh, heck no. Nah. Nope, nope. That's the worst Ouija board you can ever touch in your life. Ah, what was that? Look at that. For so it was clear that this board had to be connected to the sun on the wall. When she was asking her niece more questions about Gilbert, the little girl even tried to draw him for her. Uh, uh, is he nice? Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm, he has my favorite toys. Your young niece is still. Nah, bro. They got the real deal, man. This is real. This is. This ain't fake. You, this child is saying some stuff. Y'all gotta pay attention to what the children say. Shit, they ain't gonna ask the child, is, is is he nice? Sometimes. That sound legit. What does he do when he mean? He hiding my toys. What? That sounds super legit. How could a, a child mind come up with that? He hides in my toys when he wanna do something mean to me. Nah, heck nah. Y'all got real. Y'all got to get that Gilbert up out of there. You get to get up out of that one. Wasn't it? Look, ain't they black though? I thought they knew better. I thought my, I thought my black folk knew better. How how they still up in this house? Communicating with Gilbert in this room. Still part of this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's like holes and stuff, isn't there? Put your foot in there. Get pulled. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god, did you hear that? It's okay. I heard it. It's okay. Gilbert's fine. Yeah. Whoa. Did you hear Whoa. Oh my god, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Could it be that the child's spirit is bound to this house for some reason? What do you think? I think y'all are crazy. This is my niece. She's obsessed with Gilbert's hunting hunted painting. She talks to him a lot. She ain't talking to no painting. She talking to the ghost, the spirit, the Gilbert. Thanks for watching, guys. Nah. Not me. Uh-uh. Not me. No, I'm out. I'm out of there. Dang, that was only one video, y'all. Goodness gracious. It took us forever to get through that. Woo! That's a good sign. That means we, we got... We got another video. Y'all, this is even longer. We got nukes, baby. We got nukes. Uh, top five scary videos. Scary ghost videos. Y'all, shout out to the people on the website, Copy Merchandise. I'm going to shout you guys out at the end of the live stream. Y'all stay tuned for that. Shout out to the people dropping donos. I'm going to shout y'all out too. Yeah, man. We got another video that's longer than the last video. And this is nukes. <laughs> Let's go. Top five ghosts. Call on camera. Exorcism. Fail. Paranormal investigator Mark from the YouTube channel Donnie Drunkard believes his home in Canada is haunted by a very dark entity that attached itself to him after one of his many paranormal investigations. He you see, this is why I'm not about to do this mess. I'm not about to do no paranormal investigating, man. I'm going to go on one ghost hunt, and that's it. I ain't about to no, no, I'm not about to be him. Nope, not me. Y'all can pick another channel for that mess. Seen and recorded unexplained shadow figures and terrifying poltergeist activity that has terrorized both Mark and his cute little dog, Terry. During two of... <laughs> Terry looked terrified already. I saw Terry. His live streams, he points an SLS camera towards the storage closet in his basement. Yeah, I got him. Hey. 
Nah, he got you, fool. Y'all saw it. The little thing was in there. And then as soon as it went away, it went out the closet and went up in the air. It was right here. You saw it. It was all green lines. And then it's shoo. It shot across. Shoo. Nope. Count me out. Count me out. Now, these. I'm going to church that day. Videos might have seemed familiar to you, and that's because I featured Mark's story on my channel before. Since these terrifying events, the supernatural activity in his home hasn't decreased one bit. Sucks for him. He need to get out of that house then. He need a new home to go to. Um, if he was a, a, a good person, he wouldn't invite nobody over his house. So in his recent YouTube live stream, Mark decides to do what is called, quote, the Roman exorcism ritual. Oh, he, he, he ain't sold his house yet? He a fool. He recites prayers from a book in an attempt to cleanse his home of the evil entity that won't leave him and his little dog, Terry. Yeah, look at the little doggy. Terry <laughs> alone. He broadcasts the entire exorcism live for his YouTube viewers to see. It did not go well. What you mean? Exorcism. Don't don't say that word out loud. You don't like that. Told you. I told you. Oh snap. Oh snap. It's gonna get you today. It it, it ain't happy. That's okay. That's not okay. Stupid. I'm gonna keep going. You better. Mark's rim pod goes off, but he doesn't think much of it. He Jeez. continues to read prayers from the quote Roman ritual book. That's when things get downright chilling. Okay. Oh God of heaven and God of earth, God of the angels and God of the archangels, God of the patriarchs. Who knocking? Who knocking? Don't answer it, fool. Eyes upstairs. Eyes upstairs. Eyes upstairs. What you talking about? Been not answer that. Eyes upstairs. What was that? What was that? What was that? Nah. One of Mark's nah, static cameras captures nah, what appears to be a pale translucent nah, figure walking in front of his television nah, nearby. Nah. Some of Mark's concerned live stream viewers believe the figure actually looks like a monk. But it's a bit hard to tell. Nah. But what do you think this sudden creepy appearance could be? Let me know down in the comments. You can follow Mark's continuing scary paranormal story and live streams over on his YouTube channel, Donnie Drunkard. You decide. So this next set of videos features some very strange and creepy events. But if you're a skeptic, they could also be explained away with some fairly mundane causes. I... However, the videos are all extremely bizarre. So are these videos paranormal or just, well, normal? Let's watch and you decide. Okay. TikTok user and mother of two, Jessica Duffy, is not actually very active on TikTok. But there's one video taken by her ring security camera that she just had to post. In the video, her two children can be seen joking about ghosts in the kitchen, quoting the Ghostbusters theme song. Now, I'm not sure exactly what started this odd conversation, but it seems like the ghosts might be listening. The two kids experienced something absolutely terrifying. What? They lied. <laughs> they lied. They said, they kept on saying, I ain't scared of no goat. I ain't scared of no goat. And then what happened? As soon as that door closed by itself, they freaked out and screamed like little. I thought y'all wasn't scared of no ghosts. Y'all was just talking. 
Y'all just talk. Y'all all talk. Y'all just all talk. Now they crying like some big old babies. Now she crying like a big baby. Thought you wasn't scared of no ghosts, huh? Who you gonna call now? <laughs> Ghostbusters? Well, when I said that the two kids experienced something absolutely terrifying, I meant terrifying for them. Because Jessica Duffy does not claim in any way that this footage shows anything related to the paranormal. It's very possible that this was simply a strong gust of wind that happened to blow the door shut at a comically perfect time. Exactly. Or was it? It was. Because only a few days later, something else happens that's a little harder to explain. Tell me about it. The freak was that? So she heard it. It sounds like Barbie did something. Yo, what was that? In another freaky turn of events, Jessica's ceiling fan in the very same room has a strange electrical short, causing loud popping electrical discharges and even a bit of fire, sending oh. out a thick puff of smoke. The next day, of course, Jessica calls in an electrician to prevent a dangerous house fire. Yeah. Now, again, this might not be any... Yo, that's slick, like, really good that she has the ring camera um, in, located where it is because what if she didn't know that happened? You know what I'm saying? Anything paranormal at all. But it's certainly a very strange phenomenon to occur just days after her children decided to taunt, quote, ghosts in the house. Or, you know, maybe it's just a very weird series of coincidences. As the name of this story implies, you decide. Yeah, yo, and she noticed the door the second it moved, bro. In another strange and possibly paranormal video, an anonymous urban explorer from the YouTube channel The Unknown Cameraman is exploring an abandoned psychiatric hospital in New York when he and his friends hear the unexplained sounds of something very odd. Tell me about it. Inside the creepy old building. YouTuber, the unknown cameraman, is an urban explorer and not a ghost hunter. It's obvious that the event even freaks him out. <coughs> now, viewers of the Explorer's channel have mixed ideas of what this strange sound could be. Thank you, Miss Clark, new channel member in the house, y'all. Some say it's roosting pigeons in the building. Some claim it's the whooshing sound of an odd vacuum created inside the closed off structure. And others believe it might be something paranormal. No one really seems to agree on just what this sound could be. But the real question is, why does the loud sound just suddenly stop all at once? Whatever this creepy sound is, it's definitely not something you want to hear while exploring an old abandoned mental asylum. Popular streamer Brian from the Twitch channel Daily Dasher travels the world and broadcasts his adventures live for thousands of people to watch on Twitch. One of his many 
to eight hour long live streams, he is celebrating his birthday in Ecuador. During his live broadcast, his viewers are shocked when they see someone who seems very out of place. Yo, and why is she standing like that? Y'all saw her foot? That jump was mad weird, dog. Hold on, hold on. Look at look at her feet. Her feet are facing a different direction. She's looking to the right, but her feet are pointed to the left. Hold on. I don't know. Let me move out the way. She y'all see her looking to the right, her feet are pointed to the left. He said that they closed at 10, and it seems like they're, that's what someone in the chat said, that uh, the curfew is extended, but it's till 10, so, you know, we didn't get the exact words out of his mouth, there's still a curfew. It seems like these might add up. Is that fast food? Don't scare me like that. Oh my god, it's gone! Oh no! <laughs> it seems like these might add up at 10, and it seems like... Now, how long was he there? He said that they closed at 10, and it seems like they're... That's what someone in the chat said, that uh, the curfew is extended, but it's still 10. So even though we didn't get the exact words out of his mouth, there's still a curfew. It seems like... No cut. No cut in the footage. These might add up. Is that fast food? Don't scare me like that. Oh my god, it's gone! Oh no! <laughs> Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? Yo, there was no cut. I was paying close attention. The footage never broke. There was no jump cut. It was straight fluid. And he talked for a little bit, and he went back, and the girl was gone. I guess he didn't hear or see her leave. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I should have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> at first, Brian casually points out that there's a child standing at the balcony window. Oddly, the little girl is standing perfectly still. In Weird. fact, she is so still that viewers chatting in his live stream think that it might be a statue. Some even jokingly suggest that it's a little ghost girl. So, Brian pants his- I'm surprised she didn't look back when the guy was like stepping onto the balcony. Camera around and looks over. To his horror, he discovers that the little girl has mysteriously disappeared. She's gone. Now, just like in the previous videos, I'm not necessarily saying that this is a paranormal event caught on camera. Right. It might simply be that the girl who doesn't move and appears to be completely unresponsive to her. Yeah, she could have just walked away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She could have just been like, all right, I saw what I wanted to see. Now it's time for me to go. And she could have walked away as soon as he got to the balcony himself, like, out there. Her surroundings, maybe she just ran off when Brian was distracted. But Brian's reaction to the odd disappearance seems very sincere. He actually seems a bit shook. Is that fast food? Don't scare me like that. Oh my God, it's gone! Oh no! <laughs> Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I should have stayed home. <laughs> but as with the other videos, I leave it up to you to decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Something in the closet. Last week, I featured creepy footage of the terrifying haunting at the home of Mary Therese Pagai. Verify the client's identity and provide. Oh, I know it's done. See, but I'm busy now. See now, see now, see now. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. She was like, she was like, bro, 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 ignore it, ignore it. We got to keep this video going in her language. She said it in her language. And then she was like, all right, you ready? 
Come on, focus, focus. Three, two, one. Now that I have introduced myself, whoa, she was out. She was out. I know it doesn't. Together with her brother, Mary was recording a nursing instructional video as part of her education when suddenly the two got the scare of a lifetime. Since the horrifying events, Mary has been unable to sleep inside her own room. But after the overwhelming support of Nuke's top five viewers, she decided to set up a night vision CCTV camera to record any evidence that might explain the scary incident. One night, just after midnight, her camera captures something truly bizarre. Did she light an incense underneath the camera? It didn't turn the fan on so it can blow it away. An eerie smoke-like mist floats by and an electric fan in Mary's room turns on by itself. Yeah, I'm not gonna cap. How the heck did this fan come on? Her curtains move on their own and a bright orb appears right before the electric fan turns itself off again. Mary says that earlier that day her camera caught even more unexplained footage. Whoa. Whoa. And it goes back. I mean, it is unfortunate that we cannot see the very, very bottom of the cabinet to see if anyone is tampering with it. It's unfortunate. Bam! Opened up all the way. We can see a good amount of the bottom. Woo! The closet door swinging open and slamming shut on its own is creepy enough. I don't know, man. That thing slammed shut so dang on hard that the fan moved, bro. I don't know, man. I almost feel like nobody touched that door. But the footage is even scarier when you realize that a dark shadow slowly creeps its way towards the closet. Now, it's a oh. little hard to see at first, but watch closely as I add a little video enhancement. Yeah, it definitely does. Look at that. Look at that. Nah, nah. Nah. She got spears in her house. I can't even, nope. I can't even go there. Couldn't even be her friend. Nope. Couldn't date her or nothing. I'm like, nah, you gotta, nah. It ain't worth it. I gotta find a new chick. I'm sorry. Because of the sudden terrifying activity in her home, Mary says she thought long and hard about what could have possibly triggered the apparent haunting. Tell me There's about only it. one recent event that she can think of that could be the cause of the sudden paranormal activity. You played with a Ouija board, didn't you? I bet you did. You see, earlier this month, Mary and her boyfriend were on their way home when they witnessed a terrible traffic accident. Mary's boyfriend is an emergency medical responder and immediately rushed to the victim who had severe critical injuries. Sadly, it was too late and the man didn't survive. Mary believes that the spirit of the victim just might have followed her home. Now, before this next clip, it should be noted that Mary has shown the inside of her small closet in a previous video, and there really isn't much room for anyone or anything in there. I can tell. But days later, when she checks her bedroom CCTV footage, what she finds is downright terrifying. Oh, what the? Yo, those are hands. Yo, those are fingers. Bro, there's no way. You couldn't put somebody in there if you wanted to. It's so tight. 
Oh snap, that chair moved by itself. Yo. She need to move out. They going or Did you see it? Heck yeah. A hand can be seen reaching out from inside of Mary's bedroom closet. No, Mary, if I was you, there ain't no way. If I saw that footage, I'm packing up all of my stuff and I'm getting out of there. And guess what I mean by all of my stuff? I mean the stuff that is on my person at this very time. I ain't taking another thing out of this house. I'm gone. No. Uh-uh. That ghost can have that closet and everything in it. No. Not me. No. You got to be kidding me. And soon after, the stack set of chairs in front of me. The ghost can have the chairs too if you wanted them so bad you were touching them for a reason. Nope. Her desk move on their own. Nope. So just what do you think is happening in Mary's family home? I, look, you need to talk to your boyfriend because he, he brought home a spirit for you. You know, his job as an EMT got you messed up. Something still lives here. What? A paranormal investigation team from the YouTube channel RC Fun TV travels to an abandoned RC Fun. That sounds like remote control cars. They done switched it up and started doing paranormal stuff. Y'all, we got almost 3,000 people in the live stream. Big baby. House in Batambang, Cambodia. Locals claim that in 1994, the land used to be a graveyard for hundreds of deceased men, women, and children. Mm. Eventually, the land was sold and the owner had the cemetery excavated and the bodies burned to make room for his new family home. Shortly after the completion of the house, allegedly several members of the family were repeatedly pulled out of their beds by an invisible force. No Soon after, the family began to suffer from horrible, unexplained diseases. Fearing that they were cursed by the angry spirits of the former graveyard, they left the home and never returned. The small wooden house has now been abandoned for over 10 years. The Cambodian paranormal team prepares a ceremonial offering for the restless spirits that might be haunting the home. During the preparation, they are interrupted by something they can't explain. Okay, uh, Raymond, and I need you to land in Johnson's name, and I'll jump in the camera and then go up The unexpected loud bang sends the host of the RC Fun TV team into a fit of nervous laughter. Nah, his butt was scared. But they continue their exploration. The team is a little reluctant to climb the rotting wood stairs of the house and instead have- I wouldn't either. Look how skinny these wooden stairs look, man. I weigh about 300 pounds. I would break that mess. ...around to the back of the building and climb onto the roof. What happens next is downright chilling. So they decide to go back to the back and climb the roof instead of the stairs, which look even worse. Smart, real smart. One at a time, fools, one at a time. Yeah. 
one of the team members comes face to face with a ghoulish pale apparition peeking out of the window. Out of shock, both team members forget their own safety and just jump right off the side of the roof. Luckily, except for some scratches, bruises, and perhaps some deep psychological scars, the two men are otherwise okay. What the freak was that? You're like a freaking dinosaur head, man. What the freak was that? Now, cut to two months later. And I would have broke something if I would have jumped off that roof, man. I'm a big boy. And the team returned. Who said almost broke? Yeah, they almost broke an ankle. Determined to explore inside the creepy house. Y'all gonna really go back after seeing something in there? Okay, smart. During another ceremonial offering, they have no idea what their camera is capturing. <laughs> Hey, I saw something up there. I saw something in the window. Did you see it? The team is completely unaware that something seemed to walk by the window upstairs. After careful deliberation, the two men decide to climb the rotten stairs up to the house. Once inside, they see something absolutely horrifying. In an incredibly bizarre turn, a disembodied head can be seen sitting on top of a wooden support beam. The team's host records as he runs away in fright. When the guys go back upstairs, there are no signs of the head, nor are there any signs of anyone or anything having ever been there. So did the investigators capture the... Oh, now I see. It's a little Asian man poking his face out. He's like, hello. Did you come to visit me? Now I can see it very clearly. I see the cap so clearly now. I see the cap so clearly now. Yoni, thank you for the new member. Y'all, we get we even got like five, six new members tonight. Big baby, we doing good. We doing real good. Look at this mess. I can see it now. This dude got bling in his ear like me, man. I ain't known for no ghosts and no spirits to be rocking earrings and stuff since when. His bigger than mine. I need to step my game up. Or is that a, or is that a gauge? I don't know, but I know he got a big old piercing in his earring, bro. Paranormal activity that drove away the he, he, he looking at them like, what y'all doing out here? Home's owners? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Yeah, they 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 white faced that Asian fool. You decide. You can watch Thank this you, full part investigation over on the YouTube channel, RC Fun TV. Knock knock. Over the course of a couple of months, a series of strange events began to occur in several states in Malaysia. People began to report that someone had knocked at their door very late at night, but when they went to answer, there was no one there. Hello? Hello? Rumors spread throughout the countryside that the incidents were somehow related to the supernatural, and strangest of all, this odd occurrence wasn't just reported by one person. Man, somebody's playing ding dong ditch. You ain't fooling me. But multiple people across completely different states, spanning a large section of the country. Whoa. Dang, you're gonna knock the freaking door down. Yo, there's nobody at the door, bro. You see this door shaking hard like somebody's knocking or shaking it. And you can see outside, there's nobody there. There's nobody there. Yo. 
Yo, what the? What the freak? And this dude just standing there casually, like he, this man really ain't scared of no ghosts. He really ain't scared of no ghosts, like them, unlike them little kids. Now, at first the story might just seem like an odd couple of videos, but no. These incidents were widely reported. In fact, the story got so much attention that it even made it into Malaysian print and TV news. Wow. But this bizarre story of supposed ghosts knocking on doors in Malaysia took an even stranger turn just last month. You see, residents of the neighboring country of the Philippines recently started reporting very similar terrifying experiences. Strange knocks on their door late at night. In the Philippines? Yo, what? Open the door right now. Open the door. Open the door, bro. Hey, they saw us you belong! Yo, there's a hand. There's a hand. Man, this is a big old ding dong ditchery. Look. What? Two hands. But this time, the late night knocks were blamed on a very different but equally bizarre cause. Eyewitnesses claim that the knocks were from gangs of dangerous cult members who go house to house with the intention of hurting anyone foolish enough to open the door. Again, there were multiple reports around the province of Misamis Occidental in the Philippines. Videos circulated online of armed men roaming the streets looking for the cult members, but they never found any. They got cult members in Asian countries? I had no idea. I had no idea. Tammy, shout out to you. New channel member. Thank you so much. My 40th birthday. Hey, shout out to you, Miss Jimenez. Yanni. We got Yanni in here, y'all. She said it's her birthday. I remember she said that last week that her birthday was going to be this Monday. Y'all, shout out, Yanni. Tell this girl happy birthday. She's been a long time supporter. She make it to about all the live streams. Anyone. Happy birthday. And it gets even weirder because some eyewitnesses claim that these cult members had strange supernatural powers and could actually disappear and reappear at will. It's so easy to edit a video and make it look like somebody poofed off a camera. Do y'all want me to do it? I'll do it right now. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm walking, right? I'm back. It's that easy. It's that easy. Arthur Kicks is a ghost! He disappeared and came back! Nah, I just got superpowers. Call me Goku. Pew pew! Pew 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 pew! Saw that. I teleported. I teleported. Wait. 
It's the... Ugh. I'm back. The reports were taken so seriously that the Philippine National Police conducted an extensive investigation. But the alleged dangerous cult members were never found. Likewise in Malaysia, no one ever found an explanation for the strange late night knocks on the doors. So the question remains, just what is going on in Southeast Asia with these strange reports of supernatural late night knocking? And are the incidents in Malaysia and the Philippines related? Maybe we'll just never Maybe. know. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here. Follow me on Twitter here. And then, and are the incidents in Malaysia? Thanks for watching. Related. Maybe we'll just never know. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here. <laughs> Seriously though, they the camera is filming in one angle. If it's at night, nothing's gonna change. If you allow somebody to walk past that camera, all you have to do is cut that clip and let the other clip of nobody being there play, and there you have it. But okay. Okay. Yeah, we got one more video, and then I will be out of y'all hair, and y'all can get the rest of your week going great. Woo! Y'all, this last video, and then I'll be doing the shout outs. I just got another ding. It looked like another order done came through on the website. I'm going to be shouting y'all out at the end of the live stream. Woo! Next month, last month of live streams for a while. For those that didn't get that announcement earlier in the um, live stream in the beginning, next month will be the last of the live streams for a while. This next video. Shout out to my dude, King Frostmare. Scary videos that will not let you get in this sleep. Y'all ready for this? Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to yeah, 3200. Another really weird CCTV encounter that left people baffled on Reddit. The following video was forwarded by John, and it is said that it was initially captured by a family. It was when they were routinely checking the recording one night. I see you, Nicole, new Patreon member. Shout out to you! They saw an odd object popping up on screen and weren't sure what exactly was happening. That's weird. People point mm. out that it looks like a human sized apparition, which pops up only a couple of seconds once a car is driving by, yeah. which led many to speculate that it might have been an incident that was related to some of the car's passengers. Who knows, maybe that was the case. Yeah. Or was it simply a glitch caused by the camera lens? That's weird. Jason's mysterious encounter, whatever the answer. Mark and Jason, two new channel members. Thank y'all. Hey guys, this is a friendly reminder that Frostmare TV is here to bring you all my classic videos from the past. But did you know that my main channel, King Frostmare, is bringing you new and often unseen videos every week? If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to check it out for more weekly spookiness. Yes, sir. He got two channels. He got King Frostman and King Frostman TV. User Dante1 has shared the next recording with Reddit. In his thread, he's... I remember the... Wait. Never mind. Starts off by saying, So, we lost our cat and put out trail cams. We were working in the garage and one of the cameras set off. The cameras are set for a 30-second recording. This is what we caught. 
Honestly, I have no idea for what the trail cams are. Like a but person. I guess let's just watch the clip first. What that fool doing? He got something. Uh oh. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, that's a ghost. That was a real ghost. I saw it. Look at that. It walks. That's a real ghost, y'all. A mysterious mist-like apparition walks into the frame. It literally got arms. Came from the right. It's walking. Unfortunately, the recording ends right after. No. You know why it ended? Because it probably cleared up and showed that it was just a human being. Dante stated that nobody else was with them on the property. That it is pretty unrealistic for it to be another person. Ruling that out, it begs the question. William, William Banks, new channel member, shout out to you. Hey, hopefully you're going to be in tomorrow's live stream because I'm going to need you to throw a um, reaction suggest in my way. If it is indeed a paranormal figure that was being captured here, what do you think? And yes, y'all will still be getting content from me um, while I'm not doing the live streams. I have to say, it looks pretty translucent. And I'm not sure if it is really human. My honey, home. The following video is quite the disturbing one. It was posted to the paranormal section of Reddit by a user named Remy Coat can be suspected that she moved into a new home and ever since is becoming witness to some really inexplicable events. She states, I just purchased a camera because I've been hearing and seeing things in my house since moving in. Watch the doorway. That's a good reason to get a camera, I'll tell First you that. you'll hear a bang, then I swear something is pacing by my doorway, into a wall and back into the living room. When I get up to see what's going on, Light anomalies start flying around. What is that? Oh, I remember this. It's a whole person gonna walk through that hallway. Shout out to Jay. Thank you for the dono. We in here, baby. You see that? You got people in your house, fool. Creepy, isn't it? But this unfolded more than once that night. The trampling noises get so loud at one point that Remy has no other chance but to wake up. Big O8808, thank you. New channel member, baby. Dang, the fool woke up, got out of bed because of that. Wait, maybe, maybe they had to use the bathroom and they don't have a bathroom in their bedroom. I could be wrong. Thank you for the $50 don't know. What do you think happened here? I mean, the live stream is going to be around 8 p.m. tomorrow. eight Between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Members chat. Chat only. Only members chat. I'm tongue-tied. And we clearly see somebody walking in the hallway. First to the right, then to the left, then to the left, then to the right again. It almost looked like this fool is getting robbed, man. It appears that a paranormal apparition must have made it into this home, or remains in there. But props to her for being able to sleep there at night at all. The next video was recorded by a young man who was documenting the architecture and the layout of the St. John's Church in Pisch, Poland. He picked up really inexplicable captures. Could they be real? Seeing this.
Link to the original down in the description box below. Now we will look at another concerning case shared by a mother on her YouTube channel, Karen Huzinga Sanders. She states that she received some really odd footage from a security camera, which is mounted in one of her neighbor's kids' bedrooms. <laughs> It was captured this fall and the parents had been alarmed after seeing some odd light anomalies and even a voice. Karen hopes that viewers might be able to give suggestions with what they are dealing with here. Tell me about it. Yo, that kid at the bottom is not asleep. I see eyes. Glowing eyes. Whoa. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Lisa, quit hanging off your bed. Go to sleep. That thing is hovering over the bunk beds for several minutes. Some people say that it could have been a hare. Still watching you, son. But how would it stay up in the air and not slightly descend over time? Maybe this is some form of ectoplasm which is part of a paranormal entity, possibly watching over the kids. Could that be? What is your opinion? Also, there are several orbs flying. Yo, what is that? by. Was it only dust? Or something else going on here that night? What the freak is that? This is a pretty cool recording. It's called Ghost at the Crescent Hotel at the Back of the Hall. It has been shared by Fozo. And the footage has been stabilized. Apparently, you can see it appears to be a semi transparent figure walking at the end of the hallway. I feel like we might have seen this clip before. Nah, that was just a person walking from room to room. I don't know. It does look transparent right there, though. That is to me. I can't remember if we've seen this clip or not, though. Looks pretty odd. For sure. Now we want to take a look at an older recording that was sent to me by Trent and that was supposedly captured by a couple of friends who were on their way to a buddy's house one Friday night. As per usual, they took a small road which was situated close to a forest area. Lately, there had been reports of unusual noises that can be heard at night. Perhaps it were those noises which had caused the group of friends to record that night. I think we've seen this before, but I can't remember. These guys are braver than me. And I know it's right over there. Do y'all think those that's speakers or do y'all think that's actually somebody laughing out loud? <laughs> LOLing. No. <laughs> I wouldn't check it out. <laughs> they make it a bit into the forest to see if anything would appear on camera, or at least lead them towards the noises. Hey, Foolish, crazy. some would say. Go ahead. Before hoop again, my battery's going dead. They didn't see anything to match those weird noises that night. At least that's what they thought at first. Yeah, people commented that it is perhaps just coyotes in the distance, but that it also sounds very similar to a hyena. But hyenas usually are not that loud. 
They took a couple of photos too, and one of them disappeared. Nah. Is it the source of all these noises? Perhaps it could be an animal. It could also be a mysterious creature though. What are your thoughts on this? I don't think they got hyenas in the middle of America. <laughs> this video was sent by Max and it features Mexican security guard Francisco Ojeda who gets quite disturbed one night during one of his shifts. He works in a facility and he stated that he had never come across these strange events before. Let's see. <laughs> Se escucha cosas, güey, y... No mames, se escucha la puta regadera, güey, del puto baño, güey. ¿Qué? No mames. No mames. Apparently noises are the cause for his distress, and when he enters the washroom, he can capture even more. No mames, cuchi, güey. No mames, wey. Hay alguien, wey. No mames. No mames. No mames. Oh. No manches. Oh, hey, no. The pale face is peeking around the corner, seemingly looking at Francisco. It's official. I'm putting no mames on the t-shirt again. Is it per But by itself. No way. Just no munches. No mames. Summer related though. And was it the cause for the many odd noises on no the premises? If it isn't anything mysterious, maybe it was just a cause. That look like the jigsaw mofo. Or some Photoshop. Who knows? The following video was shared by the team of AK Explorations who went to investigate the supposedly haunted Grand Opera House. The team had access to the whole complex and started documenting the amazing building, which stems from the 1800s. Let's take a look. No mames! Um, it was 18 something. Don't do that. Relatively early into the night, they think they have captured the first odd event. Was it a shadow person that could have snuck by behind one of the curtains in the background? Nobody saw it. I think it was a regular person that snuck by. Yeah. But at the time. But maybe this was a sign that even more was yet to come. Like the painting underneath too. Look at the little painting under the light. It's cool. It almost fell over. Yeah, I remember this mess. We've seen this already. It's probably the last clip in this video, so I'm just gonna let it play out. Cause I don't wanna fast forward and it be the only thing that's in this video. I wonder what like these doors go to at one time. Like what did that go to as a people? It you doesn't gotta... open, babe. How you already know that thing didn't open? No mamas. All right, Andrew, okay, see ya.
and it is up there on the upper level that another ominous thing can be recorded. Take a good look at the stairs. Dang. I almost thought that was coming down the stairs, but it's not. Could it be another form of ectoplasm, like we have seen in an earlier video today? Yeah. Or is it simply a hair that was dancing in the air? A hair dancing Maybe you should the check air. the rest of the investigation out on that channel. I was right. Really I was right. This was the last clip on this video. Yeah, we made it to the end of the live stream. Shout out to Karen West. I see you up in here. Karen West. Where I get that name from? Karen White. What up, lady? I see you up in here. Y'all, let me run through these don't knows real quick. And then I'll be out y'all hair. I'll be out y'all hair. We got about six of them right quick. Let me get through them right quick. Oh, Karen White, I speak of the devil. She says, <laughs> you made my weekend. Thank you so much, A-OK. -okay. You are welcome. Josh, Josh McKee, always another one. Thank you, brother, for the don't know. Ryan, showing love from the NYC. What up to my people? Over there? I got to come up there and visit y'all, man. I ain't been up there yet. Christopher Hernandez, always up in here. Shout out to you, brother. Thank you so much. Misty, another one that's always in here. Thank you so much. Shout out to you, David. Oh, what's going on with you, bro? Shout out to you. Thank you so much. And who else? Was there another? Oh, that was from last week. Let's see. Let me get on here on the website real quick and see what we had going on over there. And then I'm done. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. <laughs> wait, wait, don't go yet. I'm, I'm not done, done, but I'm done. Anyway, hold on. Let me get on here real quick. I found it. We're here. Yes, sir. Heidi, shout out to you. Amy, thank you so much. Jasmine, shout out to you. Uh, Miss Adams, shout out to you. Nicole, thank you so freaking much. Uh, these are people from um, over the weekend, too. Veronica, Frederick, thank you so much. Norma, thank you so much. Uh, Ricardo, Miss Briggs, thank you so much. And Alex. No, that's Alexis. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be getting y'all orders together and out the door. First thing tomorrow. Yeah, we done made it to the end of the live stream. Beep, beep, beep. V-Men, what's going on with you? I see you up in here. Elizabeth, I see you up in here. Y'all, you know what's something we ain't did in a while? I need y'all to spam the chat and let the world know where y'all at. I need y'all to let the world know where y'all are watching us from. We haven't done that in a while. I need to see if we got some new members, new new um, subscribers that are watching from parts of the world that I have yet to see you guys watching from. Go ahead. Spam away. I got to let the grand folks know that we here today. Got to let them know. Where we at? One more. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a freaking minute. I don't even think I got one more. We've been in here long enough, y'all. This is an hour, 45 minutes we've been in here. Usually, even when I add one more, that's about how long we run. An hour, 45. Gosh. Let me see what, let me see what we got, man. Let me see what these likes looking like on this video. Y'all talking about one freaking mo. Y'all, we only got 1,300 likes, man. We only got 1,300 likes. Can we get a solid... Oh, snap. Whoa, that is loud. I can't, I can't get rid of it. How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. That was messed up. Can we get 1,800 likes? 1,800 likes for one mo video. What up, Nikki? I see you up in here. Thank you for the don't know. But let me, sh look, man, we got folks up in here from all over the wizard, oh, bro. Let me go ahead and see what we got going on here. Yeah, man, I ain't did this in a minute, bro. But look, look, look at all these folks we got up in here. We got Oklahoma. We got D.C., San Diego. We got freaking Florida, Scotland. Man, we got Ohio up in here, Maryland. We got the Philippines. Look at this, man. South Carolina, Mississippi, Texas, Chicago. The Michigan. We got my Georgia folks up in here. Virginia, Kentucky. I'm going to see y'all soon. We're going to be out there in Kentucky again this year. For Crips Cookout. Yes, sir. Ashley M. done dropped by. 
with another don't know. Shout out to you, sweetheart. Thank you so much for the support that you're always showing to the channel. She says, thank you for a great live tonight. You're welcome. Thank you. What we got going on up here? John says, caught one live, one last live stream before returning to work. Yes, sir. You did it. You made it, baby. It's me. Hey, what up, Kelly? You done switched the counts on us? Shout out from Jackson, Miss Michigan. Love you, A-OK. -okay. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for another dono, too. We got folks up in here from Utah, New Hampshire, Boston, Matt. What's up? South Crackalackin' too. You did. Hold on. Let me see where we at. Let me see where we at for another video. People always asking me for another video. See how many dang on tabs I got on this dang on screen? Where we at, bro? Oh, yo, real quick. Shout out to my moderator, Steve, and the wife. They are in here. Desiree, shout out to you. My moderators. Yeah, we are almost there already. 100 more. Oops. 100 more likes for another one. And with that being said, let me go ahead and pull up this next video. Whoa, what? This next video is about 40 minutes long. 40 minutes long. That means we're about to be here a long time. This, we're probably going to be in here another hour, y'all. We is probably going to be in here a whole another hour. Scariest ghost children sightings caught on camera. Woo! It's a long video. This is a long video right here, boy. I swear. Great live and content, bro. Let's do one more. What up, Jamie? Thank you. Hi from Norway. What's going on? TV. Says, good show tonight. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you for the big dono tote. Y'all, this video is 40 minutes long. Goodness gracious. <laughs> we gonna be here a while. We just gonna be here a while. I hope my bladder can hold out. Ooh. As y'all can see, I've been drinking and drinking. We got another Desiree. Um, she says she, she's so sad that she missed half of the live stream. Maria, stay safe out there. Thank you so so much, sweetheart, for the dono. Yeah, we're about to get this party started. He's about to get this party started. Fatima, welcome to the channel, baby. Hold on, where's this other? Wait, I keep doing that. Boom. All right. 1800? 1800. Y'all know what that means. Do, 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 do. Scariest ghost children's sightings caught on camera. Y'all ready? I am. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is this Slap Ham. Today we're looking at some ghost sightings that are starting to freak the internet out. But as always, before we dive into these fascinating stories, remember to hit that subscribe button for more scary content. Just like, like this. this. <laughs> Some creepy ghosts appear to enjoy watching carefree moments that friends spend together outdoors. For sure. At least that's what they were doing when this chilling video was captured by YouTuber Demi 2009ization. I remember this. This was creepy. Watch this window. They were using a phone camera to record while two of their friends were playing catch on the lawn of the school campus one afternoon. There was nothing unusual about the day at first, just a few friends having a lazy afternoon in the sun. 
I bet they can spruce this game up a bit and make it a tad bit more interesting. Just instead of just paying catch, y'all could play tips. You know, we used to play tips back in the day. That was fun. Then one of them noticed something unusual at the corner of their eye. They turned the camera and zoomed in to get a better look. Sure enough, someone or something was watching them from a high window in one of the nearby buildings. Oh my days, that was creepy. What was that? The figure watching was ghostly pale and stared at the group with a menacing expression. The group of friends were disturbed by the sighting and asked the building manager to let them inside so they could confront whoever was staring at them. Man, that shows just how neat, uh, naive I was, bro. Back in the day, I thought that was legit. I thought that was legit. Now I just feel like that was one of their homies who had access to this building, just like they're getting access to it right now. And he was, and that's why they were just, hey, let's just randomly pay catch right here. And then I'm going to point so distinctly at this window to show our buddy up there with white face. They put white face on a white man. However, when they arrived at the room where they would have been, it was empty and had clearly been out of use for a long time. The walls were covered in graffiti and the whole room had a creepy, empty feel. The group looked around the building for someone resembling the figure they saw in the window, but were unable to locate them, leaving them perplexed. Is it possible that their mysterious watcher was actually a ghost? Maybe. Posted by Reddit user Project Mindless, this photo seems to suggest that something eerie happened when this picture was taken. Nah, y'all play too much, man. Y'all left the little kid out the picture, dog. Y'all mean for that. Taken at a family gathering, we see six people all smiling happily at the camera. However, if you look closely, it would seem a spirit has attempted to join them. With all the happy faces, it seems as though none of them had any idea this dark shadowy figure lingered behind them while capturing the photo. Directly behind the poster himself is a small dark figure heavily shadowed. He's like, what about me? If you zoom in for a closer inspection, you get a better idea of what this shadow truly is. You can see a small childlike figure directly behind the group. That kid feels so left out. He's left the little man out, man. That's messed up. He's supposed to be in the house sleep. That's what it is. They was outside on the porch, you know, having a little a little late night drinkity drink session. And he supposed to be in bed sleep because he got school in the morning. But he snuck out to see what the grown folks was doing. And he was like, oh, they're taking a picture. <gasps> oh, snap. I got caught. They're going to see me in a picture. I'm supposed to be asleep. Darn it. I don't supposed to be here. Reminded of the child from The Grudge, the poster and his family were seriously creeped out upon reviewing the photo. They say they have no idea who the boy could be or why he was there. Well, your bag's With off. With no other potential explanation for the face behind them, the group seems to believe that a ghost chose their family's gathering to visit that day. No, Miss T, thank you. Anna, heartbroken vet, channel members, baby. Mike Ros Walker was home alone with his wife and son Ethan when this next photo was taken. At least he thought he was. As most parents do, Mike decided to snap a photo as he was playing with his son to capture a bit of that innocent fun. However, when he looked at the photo, he was shocked oh, to see not nah. one child, but two. Next to Ethan appears the face and shoulder of another child. Oh, hey. He was nah. absolutely certain there was no one else present. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, if I took this picture and saw this kid next to my son after just snapping the picture of my son, why that hat sitting on top of his head like that? Is that a filter? That hat ain't on his head right. This white part is supposed to be on his forehead. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. I feel like if this hat is a filter, then this kid could be too. He could have been added later, just like this hat was added later. Because that hat ain't right. It ain't right. It don't supposed to be on the head like that. It, it, it defined the laws of gravity. It wouldn't even sit on top of the head like that. Anyway, like I was trying to say before, before I really interrupted myself. The hat interrupted me. Anyway. 
This kid. If this kid was in the picture with my kid, I would have threw my phone. Oh, snap. My phone would have broke because I would have threw it so quick. I would have never been able to touch my phone again. I would have deleted all pictures without looking at the pictures. Nope. So where could this second child in the picture have come from? One possibility is that Ethan moved while the picture was being taken. Ah, uh -uh, that's not the same kid. That's a different kid. Kind of. It kind of looks like the same kid. This is what I'm saying. It could be if they added that hat later because the other kid didn't got no hat. But wait a minute. The other kid also was shirtless though, right? Because I swear I saw a butt naked shoulder. Yeah, he looks shirtless. That ain't the same kid. That's a different kid. Look, the ears are different. So where could this second child in the picture have come from? One possibility is that Ethan moved while the picture was being taken, causing the resulting photo to blur. However, upon careful comparison of the two children, this explanation doesn't seem likely. First of all, Ethan is wearing a bright red Santa hat that doesn't appear on the ghost child. Man, that hat does not appear on his head either, man. He is not wearing that hat. In addition, the ghost child's bare shoulder is visible, but Ethan is wearing a bright blue shirt. For that matter, where is the rest of the ghost child's body? There's also inconsistencies in the shapes of the hairlines, chins, eyes and mouths that make it impossible that the second child in the photograph could simply be a blurry version of Ethan. If this is the case, then who is the ghostly child in this photo? Nah. And what was he doing standing so close to Mike's son? I'm calling Cap. This is another kid. That's his, um... I like I can see some pajama bottoms down here at the bottom on this kid. Like some red pajama bottoms. I think this might be his friend. And the friend kind of was moved in to the shot late to take a picture. But the motion blur threw it off. Man, that's motion blur. That's just another kid. They knew that kid was there. Yeah, I see other people in the chat saying the same thing. That's motion blur. When Michelle Midwinter bought her new home in Trowbridge, Wiltshire, the D didn't say anything about the property coming with creepy ghosts. Yo, the Midwest got a, a, a crazy heat wave out there. I didn't even know. She didn't. Oh, northern west, north northwest. Find out about that unfortunate part Pacific. of the deal until she proudly snapped a photo of her new home Let me see. and shared it on Facebook so her friends could share in her excitement. Let me see the pic. After she posted the photo, she oh. went back to look at it some more. You better not go in that house, lady. Did you just purchase that? Yo, that's Jason. Wanting to admire the beautiful brickwork on the outside of the house. It was then that she noticed a face looking out from the upstairs window. There's no way. I'm not going in there. I'm, I'm not moving no in there. She knew no one was home at the time except for her and her two-year-old daughter. Oh, no. This was enough to convince her that her new home was haunted. Oh, yeah. That's a face. There have been a few unusual occurrences in the house since she and her daughter moved in. That's beautiful. Such home. as a clock flying off the wall inexplicably when no one was yeah. around. Andrew Jones, a local historian, believes he might know the identity of the ghost caught peering out of Michelle Midwinter's window. Who is it? He claims that the ghostly face in the photo bears a striking resemblance to Samuel Kent, a factory inspector who once lived and worked in the area. He was the father of Constance Kent, infamous for brutally murdering her three-year-old brother in 1860 when she was only 16. Why? Could the sorrow and heartache that he experienced in life have caused Samuel Kent to linger on Earth after death? Why? A three-year-old, why? This photo was taken by a young boy who woke up in the middle of the night and thought his sister was playing a prank on him. He soon realised oh, that it wasn't his sister who was staring at him through the door as she was still upstairs sleeping. Oh, the girl's skin is pale and she has a lifeless look on her face. Oh. She also appears to be wearing a long dress that would look more at home in the 1800s. When the boy screamed, the eerie figure was said to have disappeared from the hallway. Ah. Oh, heck no. Oh, in snap. recent years, there's been a spate of photos captured on trail cams that show children seemingly alone in the wilderness late at night. Several viewers have attempted to explain these mysterious sightings by suggesting that they might actually be black-eyed children. Shoot. In 2013, a camera placed on a deer trail in North Carolina captured this image of a ghost-like girl running through the woods. She's pale and appears to have very long, thin arms. 
The figure's face is blurry, however, making it difficult to see her eyes. This series of three photos first appeared on Reddit in 2013, supposedly taken by user NoDog11's friend's cousin's trail camera. The images show a young child approaching a deer from the thicket. While many have been quick to dismiss these photos as hoaxes, experts have noted that they don't appear to have been manipulated in any way. The reaction of the deer also lends weight to their authenticity, as it looks genuinely frightened when it spots the approaching figure. Yeah. Exponents of the photos have noted that the timestamp indicates that they were taken a little after 4 o'clock in the morning. Moreover, the child looks quite young, somewhere between the ages of 5 and 10. This begs the obvious question, why would such a young child be wandering the woods all alone at 4am? Could it be possible then that this camera has actually captured photographic evidence of a black-eyed child? This now famous photo of a young girl standing beside two deer caused quite a stir when it first appeared online. She looks as though she's dressed for bed and appears to be carrying something under her arm, possibly a blanket or stuffed animal. Yo, that's mad creepy. The startled way the bark is staring at the camera further adds to the uneasy feeling that this image evokes. Several viewers have pointed out that while it's difficult to tell, the young girl's eyes might actually be black. Yo, that picture creeped the mess out of me, bro. And could be reflecting the camera flash the same way the deer's eyes are. What do you think? Why are there so many trail camera photos of children all alone in the woods? Could they be ghosts like some have suggested? Or are they just a series of well-planned hoaxes? Or is there actually weight to the idea that these photos prove that strange black-eyed children are roaming the woods late at night? Sheesh. That's creepy, bro. This disturbing photo is said to have been taken by a photographer at Disneyland, who was tasked with posting pictures and video of the Haunted Mansion ride online. The attraction seemed to be working as normal, and at first the photographer thought that the only ghosts they had caught on camera were those designed by Disney's light and animatronics experts. However, when the photographer was reviewing their photos sometime later, they noticed what appeared to be the ghostly face of a little boy peering back at them from one of the doom buggies. The photographer claims that they never saw a little boy of that age on the ride, nor was there anyone near them when they were waiting to board the attraction. What well, like an Asian little boy too. makes this photo even spookier is that back in 1994, a woman supposedly approached the Disney company with a very strange request. She asked if she could spread her deceased seven-year-old son's ashes in the haunted mansion, what? as it was his favourite ride. Apparently, it's not an uncommon occurrence for Disney employees to catch people attempting to empty the ashes of loved ones in the park. After all, it is the happiest place on Earth. <laughs> not surprisingly, Disney refused the request, but agreed to allow the family some extra time on the ride to hold a memorial in the boy's honour. However, during the ride, Disney employees noticed that the family appeared to be throwing something from the side of one of the doom buggies. Assuming it was... They did it anyway. The boys' ashes, employees quickly shut the ride down and performed a thorough clean of the attraction. Ever since then, guests and cast members have reported strange happenings within the haunted mansion. One guest even recalled seeing a small boy running around inside the mansion's ballroom. However, when staff searched the attraction, they were unable to locate anyone. It's said that the most common place to see the boy is at the ride's exit. Several guests have reported offering help to a sobbing child, only to have him suddenly vanish from sight. Hell Could it be no. possible that the photographer has actually captured proof of the ghost said to wander the haunted mansion? That's or is it more crazy. likely that this creepy tale is little more than a very spooky urban legend? Yeah. In 2004, a boy took this photo of his family out the front of their home on a bright summer's day. At first, no one noticed anything unusual about the picture, and it wasn't until some time later when the family were thumbing through an old family album that they realised there was another figure present in the picture. If you take a closer look at the glass oval in the centre of the front door, you can clearly see what appears to be a young girl dressed in white staring out at the family. The family claimed there was no one else in the house at the time the photo was taken, and that the house itself was only four years old. They had purchased it just six months after it was built, and had never heard of a little girl ever living there. They were completely baffled by the image. 
The figure has a pale, featureless face and looks strangely out of place, dressed in a long, flowing gown on a hot summer's day. Some who have seen the picture believe that the little girl may be a spirit that is somehow attached to the house, while others have suggested that it could be a long-lost deceased relation of the family. What do you think it could be? Love to hear your opinion in the comments section below. I look like an old woman. This photo, sent to us by Andrew on Facebook, appears to show a ghostly figure with a gaunt, skeletal face, photobombing a group of children. Present in the photo is Andrew's partner David, who, after suffering an illness, became quite nostalgic and began looking through old photos from his childhood. It was taken on a school trip in the early 90s outside an air raid shelter at a popular war museum in northern England. The eerie figure in the photo went undetected for years until Andrew used an app to enhance the light. David insists that he was standing at the very back of the group and that there was no other member unaccounted for. To this day, the photo freaks David out so much that he won't even look at it. Could it be possible that this photo actually shows the ghost of someone who died at this very air raid shelter? Let us know who or what you think the mysterious figure might be in the comments section below. Yo, you ever think when ghosts show up in pictures that that's their way of being seen? Because they can't be seen by the naked eye, by the human eye? Certain ghosts. Franco TV is a YouTuber who explores old abandoned buildings and locations that are thought to be haunted. In February 2019, he released this video in which he's exploring the Evergreen Cemetery in Jacksonville, Florida. The video begins as Franco TV is filming several eerie crypts lined along one of the cemetery's pathways. Suddenly, he hears a faint screeching noise shortly followed by a dull moaning sound. Something big. I actually saw this on Google Maps when I was seeing this place. After he's unable to see where the sounds were coming from, Franco TV makes his way towards a large mausoleum somewhere in the centre of the cemetery. Realising that it has no door, he decides to go inside. He notices that one of the small compartments Have we seen this? that lines the walls appears to have been kicked in. Suddenly, he hears a knocking sound that sounds as if it's coming from inside the tomb. He calls out, is there someone there? But no one answers. Is there someone there? Hello? As he pans around the room, the camera inadvertently captures a mysterious mist rising into the air, which Sorry. is shortly followed by more knocking. Oh, yo, there's somebody in one of those things knocking. They ain't dead, dead. They're alive, dead. Spooked, Franco TV decides to leave the mausoleum and continue his exploration of the cemetery. Not me. It's now dark outside and he needs <coughs> to use a flashlight to see where he's going. He makes his way along another path lined with even more graves. The reflection of the flashlight against the headstones creates an eerie experience as he continues his search. Suddenly, he hears crying coming from up ahead followed by the chilling sound of a children's music box. What the hell? Oh my God. <sighs> Hesitantly, he searches for the source of the eerie sounds. Unable to locate them, Franco TV heads back towards the cemetery's entrance. On the way, he approaches the mausoleum and decides to take one final look. As he shines the flashlight towards the entrance, there appears to be a creepy face peeking out from around the corner. The face slowly retracts as he continues closer. Yeah, I remember this now. Franco TV calls out, but there's no answer. He shines his light inside the mausoleum. However, there's nothing there. If you zoom in on the footage, you can see that the face appears to be pale and withered like the face of an old man. I can't see all of that. I can't, I can't see it that good. Suddenly, the music box begins to play once again. Franco TV runs back to his car and heads for the exit. 
He drives around for several minutes before realizing that he's actually locked inside the cemetery. Having no other choice, he phones the caretaker who eventually sends someone down to open the gates. While Franco TV spends much of his time exploring creepy places, I'm sure that this was one haunted cemetery he couldn't wait to leave. It's like a black thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It looked black. He said pale and white. In 2017, a group of women on a hen's party captured these two photos at a remote estate in Scotland. When the images were posted to Reddit, they immediately caused a stir. In the second picture, which was taken just moments after the first, you can clearly see a small boy on the left-hand side staring at the group from behind the chopped logs. A weird. After the group looked at the images, they were supposedly so frightened by what they saw that they left the area immediately. Several of the girls did some investigating and discovered that a young boy had died while staying at the nearby Coilette Hotel with his mother. He was said to have drowned after sleepwalking into the murky waters of the lake. According to the owners of the hotel, the boy's presence can still be felt in room 4, and guests have reported belongings going missing and being moved. Some even claim to have seen mysterious wet footprints on the floor as the boy searches the hallways for his mother. Since the child's tragic drowning, he's become known to locals as the Blue Boy, because that's the colour his skin was by the time they eventually pulled him out of the lake. While sightings of mysterious black-eyed children date as far back as the 1950s, they have recently become more frequent. In September 2014, British newspaper The Daily Star ran three front-page stories on alleged sightings of children with black eyes, supposedly connected to the sale of a pub in Cannock Chase, UK. Thought by some to be the most haunted pub in Britain, the Four Crosses Inn... Yo, what are those type of magazines called again here in America? I forgot. They used to be really, really popular. I still be seeing them in like... Um, what are they called? Grocery stores and stuff like this. Or stuff like that. But we don't pay them much attention anymore. I forgot. What are they called? Was listed on the market for a bargain price. However, no one seemed interested in purchasing it. Paranormal expert Chris Arnold said, We've experienced so much there, but a piano playing by itself on command was the most dramatic. A former staff member who was tasked with opening the pub one day claimed that she was left terrified after discovering two neatly placed roses on a seat in the ladies' toilets. As she turned to exit the room, a large candelabrum had somehow moved and was now blocking her escape. While no one is certain what's causing these mis Tabloids? I don't think it's called tabloids. The Inquirer? Maybe, the, maybe it was the Inquirer. Mysterious events, several patrons claimed to have seen a young girl dressed in tattered clothing with black eyes in the downstairs bar. Yo. When the young girl is spotted, she is said to disappear through the wall. Recently, Canic Chase has been home to many sightings of black-eyed children, perhaps the most famous of which was made by a woman who claimed the National Enquirer might be what it is to have heard the screams of a young child coming from the forest while out hiking with her daughter. The pair quickly ran towards the screams. As they stopped to catch their breath, the woman turned to see a young girl standing behind them. The girl was completely still and had her hands covering her eyes. When the woman asked if the little girl was alright, she didn't say a word. She just slowly lowered her arms, revealing coal black eyes. No, nope. not tabloids. It's the National Enquirer, I believe. Virus, no white, nothing. Terrified, the woman grabbed her daughter. She then turned to face the black-eyed girl once more, but she had completely vanished. Crazy. In the late 1960s, Canic Chase became famous as the site of a series of grisly murders. The remains of three young girls were found buried in the woodland after going missing in the area. Many believe that the black-eyed girl of Canic Chase is actually the restless spirit of one of those girls. In 2015, YouTuber Furious Otter uploaded this creepy footage, thought by many to show proof of the black-eyed girl's existence. As the drone flies above a wooded area in Canic Chase, the camera spots a figure moving among the dense thicket. The drone heads in for a closer look and reveals what appears to be a young girl in a long white dress. As is often the case with sightings of black... That don't look like a young girl to me. ...guide children, it's difficult to prove that the footage is genuine, and skeptics note that videos like these could quite easily be faked. 
Despite these claims, many believers still regard this video as proof that a young girl with black eyes does indeed roam the woodlands of Canning Chase. Yeah, um, y'all, the National Enquirer is a tabloid. Uh, Desiree just said the same thing. Yeah, it's basically, um, like all those type of magazines that, that cover, you know, whatever. Those are all tabloids. When a young woman took a series of photos of her son, she was shocked to discover she had captured something more. Over the boy's right shoulder, you can clearly see a dark figure walking across the carpet. The figure is about the size of the boy, and if you look closely, you can make out legs, which even cast a shadow across the floor. Yeah, that's weird, man. The apparition has no distinguishable facial features, and you can see the sofa straight through it. When the image first appeared online, skeptics suggested that the ghostly figure could be simply another child that had been blurred by the camera's slow shutter speed. The woman said it wasn't possible, however, as there was no one else in the house at the time the photos were taken. Right. What do you think this photo was captured? Has the young mother actually photographed a ghost child walking around her living room? Possibly. Jeez. Elaine McMonagall and her three children once lived in an apartment in Alexandria, Scotland. Okay. During their time there, they experienced occasional paranormal events. The experiences were mostly harmless. Lights would turn on and off, and their belongings would turn up in places other than where they had left them. Every once in a while, they would see shadows moving across one of the glass doors that made them think that creepy ghosts were walking on the other side. Elaine's daughter Haley claimed that a little boy would come into her room and jump on her bed with her, but Elaine assumed she was just a little girl with an overactive imagination. Elaine is no stranger to the paranormal either. When she was a child living with her mother and grandparents, she felt as if creepy ghosts were living among them. She would often feel mysterious hands brushing her hair or hear breathing in an empty room. She even talked about long dead people she had never met. It seems she may have passed down her sensitivity for the paranormal to her daughter. After the family moved, Elaine was feeling nostalgic for the old apartment. She decided to use Google Street View to look at photos of their old home. As she perused the images, she noticed something shocking. The face of a ghostly little boy peering Ooh. out from one That does look ghostly for real though. ...of the windows. Could this be the very child that young Haley used to play with in her bedroom? Elaine doesn't know for sure. But after seeing evidence of the ghost in the Google Photos, she may be less likely to dismiss her daughter's stories about invisible playmates. That's crazy that she actually looked at Google Map images of her own home. Wisps of ghosts and suggestions of spirits can send the mind into overdrive but there's something about corporeal spirits that is utterly shocking. Some paranormal enthusiasts say you have to be fast to capture a spirit. They tend to be there one second and gone the next. Most people who capture these eerie photos will swear no one else was in the room with them. Yet, yeah, things are very different when it comes to a corporeal being. In Lisa Venezia's case, the phenomenon occurred in a photo taken at her cousin's Sweet Sixteen party in Brick, New Jersey. If you look closely, there's a little girl hiding in the darkness in the corner. I thought that was like somebody hanging out and chilling, sitting back in a chair, and they had a coat, like a big coat on or something. Lisa asserts that no one involved in the photo had any idea who the little girl hiding behind the rack of coats in the corner what? could have been. Nah, Nearly can't. shrouded in darkness, the girl is nevertheless fairly easy to make out. Yeah. Rather than a shadow or a simple reflection, it seems quite clear that the girl truly was present in the corner. Yeah. In this case, the corporeal being is nothing short of mystifying. Upon looking back at the photo, Lisa says, it's just a freaky image that nobody can explain. That's crazy. The girl's identity is unknown among the guests. It leaves us to question if the ghost may have been some unknown family member or a previous resident of that home. However, her identity will likely always remain a mystery. Yeah. 
In 2013, a woman by the name of Luan Sakuro claimed that she had experienced many strange things while living in her Ravina, Ohio residence. Sakuro, who had lived in the house for more than 20 years, said that she had heard the mysterious voice of a child and believed that the ghost of a young girl was roaming her hallways at night time. She'd even heard strange noises coming from her closets and doorknobs jiggling. This photo was taken by her son some years earlier, and it appears to show a ghostly, childlike face peering out of one of the living room windows. After seeing this photo, Sakuro said, I feel that this image is a very good photo of something paranormal caught on camera. A very disturbing photo. It appears to be an image of a child. I believe the image in the photograph shows what's in our home. Is this photo evidence that Luan Sakuro's house is actually haunted by a ghost of a little girl? What do you uh, he looks like something from somewhere. I can't think of what it's called right now. Like a movie or something. Do you think this photo was captured? Let us know in the... Oh, he looked like the seed of Chucky. Comment section below. He liked the seed of Chucky. The story behind... Oh, I remember this. This is a crazy story too. Y'all listen to this. This photo is as sad as it is disturbing. The photo has been retold over the years as the tale of the ghost that screamed, and 30 years later, it's still causing a stir. The origin of this story dates back to a 1984 car accident involving four teenagers. The exact circumstances leading to the crash are unknown, however, some have blamed the winding roads. Regardless of the cause, the teens lost control of their vehicle that night. They hit a curb and crashed into nearby trees. As fate would have it, three of the four teens survived the crash. It proved fatal. Zaire and Matthew, see you guys later. For the boy in the front passenger seat. At just 16 years old, the teen boy tragically lost his life. What followed was a routine police inspection complete with photos capturing the scene of the accident. Not having witnessed anything abnormal at the time, the police officer sent the photos off to be developed. However, what the police department found in those photos was distressing. The first signs of supernatural interference were floating red and yellow dots visible in many of the photos. However, they wouldn't go on to raise any red flags on their own. But one of the photos in question would haunt those who saw it for the rest of their lives. The photo seems to have captured the boy's spirit yelling in agony. After, after the car crash. There's a disturbed face, visible and clear. It's crazy. Some even believe you can see the outline of a brown Labrador. Some say it's the very same dog that belonged to the boy, recently deceased. I don't see Skeptics no damn dog. involved had to admit it seemed the photos captured two unique spirits. I only see There's one. the boy himself in agony after the accident, and the boy's pet there to guide his soul. I don't see the dog. I don't see it. I don't see it. Not at all. This photo was taken by a couple whose Woo! cat kept hissing at the patio door. Every time they got up to inspect, there didn't seem to be anything there. They decided to take a photo to see if they could catch whatever it was the cat was hissing at. When they uploaded the image to their computer, they couldn't believe what they had captured. Never open a door. Never open a door. In the photo, there appears to be a little girl staring into the house. No. She is pale and vapor-like and looks to be wearing some sort of period dress. The cat looks as though it can clearly see the ghostly figure as it arches its back, hissing at the window. Many believe that animals can see things that humans can't and that they have a heightened sensitivity to the paranormal. The couple, who are obviously shaken by the photo, said they had no idea who the little girl was. The house was believed to be very old, so it's possible that the mysterious figure may have once been a resident. Whatever it is the couple have captured in this photo, I'm sure they'll pay closer attention to where their cat is looking from now on. <coughs> this creepy clip uploaded to Docu Mysteries YouTube channel in April 2014 shows footage supposedly captured during a routine maintenance inspection on the old Tower of Terror ride at the Disney California Adventure okay. Park. As the employee carries out his inspection on the ride, which is now the Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout, an eerie figure suddenly appears behind him. It's only visible for a split second before it vanishes once again. Bro, what was that? 
That was an overlay, While man. While some viewers have pointed out that the figure could simply be the result of light that is emitted during the ride, it's certainly hard to deny that the figure does indeed look human. You can clearly make out its upper body, neck, face, and even its eyes. Yeah, that was... As the footage continues, another ghostly apparition can be seen on the ride. This time, it appears to be sitting in one of the seats to the left, and looks as though it has its arms in front and one leg folded over the other. JC, thank you for the don't know. Tanya, thank you, sweetheart, for the don't know. You're amazing. It's long been rumoured that one of the Disney cast members hired to play the bellhop on the Tower of Terror ride suddenly died during a shift. Ever since then, the employee's ghost is reported to have been seen in and around the attraction. Could it be possible then that this video has actually captured proof that the ghostly bellhop is still haunting this popular Disney ride? In October 2009, Samuel Harmsworth uploaded this unsettling footage to YouTube, which also appears to show a ghostly figure lurking by the Tower of Terror. Just as the elevator is about to drop, you can clearly see what appears to be a person sitting on the outside of the ride. The figure then briefly stands up before suddenly vanishing. Yo, While that's some have labelled this video a hoax, many paranormal researchers believe that it further proves that there is indeed a ghost haunting the Tower of Terror ride. If you yeah. or someone you know has ever had a spooky encounter on this ride, we'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. When this unnamed parent checked her baby monitor to make sure her son was sleeping, she got a horrible fright. She quickly grabbed her phone and captured this image. Next to her sleeping son is the disembodied face of another child staring straight into the baby monitor. When this photo first surfaced, skeptics were quick to discredit it by saying that the face could simply belong to a brother or sister who had crept into the crib through the night. However, the woman was quick to mention that the sleeping boy was an only child and that there was no other children at the house at the time. Other viewers also pointed out that even if the face did belong to another child, how did they manage to climb into the sleeping boy's crib? And more importantly, where is the child's body? Man, that's just one thing and it just looks like something else. It looked like it might have been, it could have been like a doll or a stuffed animal of some sort. And it was just... It was sitting in there and positioned in a way to make it look like it could have been a face of a child. In 2013, Woo! Hannah Bartler snapped this terrifying photo it's while weird. on a ghost walk in the foreshore woodlands of Yorkshire, UK. Uh -uh. Her tour guide pointed out a tree where several people had claimed to have seen the ghost of a young orphan girl, looking out to sea, waiting for her father to return. At first, Bartler didn't see anything by the tree, but took several photos anyway. As she continued her walk, she began flicking through the images, and that's when she realized that she had captured something terrifying. What? There, standing by the tree, was a young girl in a white dress with jet black eyes. I started freaking out, Butler said. I was so shocked, I started crying and had to leave. Wow. Even her partner, Chris Billings, who was normally skeptical when it comes to things like this, was at a loss to explain the picture. Heck no. Nah. Since taking the photo, Butler has been plagued by reoccurring dreams of the girl with the black eyes. She says she's now scared to enter dark rooms, afraid that the little girl will be waiting for her in the corner. She got spooked. That is creepy. When this photo first appeared online, it immediately attracted significant attention. Let me see. The woman and her daughter are posing for a picture in front of the famous ship, the Star of India, docked at the Maritime Museum in San Diego Harbor. The photo, which was taken by the woman's father, looks to have captured a young girl dressed in white on the outer side of the guard railing. The woman claims that her father waited for all passerbys to move before taking the photo, and that no members of her family could remember seeing the girl at the time. Making the photo even more unsettling is the fact that on the other side of the guardrail, there's a six foot drop straight into the harbor below. Who is this mysterious girl and- Come on, man. Y'all tell me that that whatever this is right here doesn't look like it was added later. It is not as smooth and blended. It doesn't transition correctly. It doesn't. It looked like it was pieced there later, though. How is she managing to stay afloat above the water? 
Could it be the ghost of a child that tragically died at sea? Love to hear what you think is going on in this photo. I don't know, man. It don't look too convincing. In March 2015, Bruce Edwards uploaded this video to his YouTube channel. He claims that the footage was captured on a cell phone from an actual news broadcast of an accident seen on TV. A mysterious figure slowly emerges from the bushes that has a gaunt pale complexion oh, and sunken person. jet black eyes. When the footage first surfaced, That's opinions weird. on the figure's identity were divided. It's like a Some hippie. thought it was a ghost or even possibly the Grim Reaper coming for the souls of those in the accident. It's a hippie. However, others suggested that the creature might actually be an adult version of a black-eyed child. Yeah, it looks like an adult. What do you think this mysterious creature could be? A hippie. Love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. It's a hippie. It's a rock star. He got mascara on. He done, bl he done blacked his eyes out. Because he's a rock star. <laughs> This photo was captured by a woman in Dartmoor, England in 2002. At first glance, there doesn't appear to be anything strange about it. That is until you hear the chilling backstory. The woman was sitting in her car with her partner watching the ponies in a nearby field when she decided to take some photos. Okay. It was raining outside, so she leaned out the window of the car to get the picture. When the pair reviewed their photos later that evening, they were stunned to see a young girl with blonde hair patting the horse. The woman claimed that there was no one else in the area at the time the photo was taken and they had definitely not seen a young girl in the field. If you take a closer look at the girl in the image, you can see that her arm is unusually thin and she has long wispy fingers draped down the side of the horse. I don't see none of that. The area where this picture was taken is infamous for strange ghost sightings. In the 1920s, a series of fatal accidents occurred along a nearby stretch of road. One survivor told authorities that as he was travelling along the road, he suddenly felt a pair of rough, hairy hands wrench at the steering wheel, causing him to swerve off the road. I just thought about something I never heard anybody say when it comes to ghosts. When ghosts die, do they keep their style that they died, or can they change their style? I mean, like, clothes, hair, and everything, if they wanted to be more modern, you know, could they switch it up if they wanted to, or do they keep the style that they died in? Random thoughts are the kicks. Another couple reported being attacked by a ghostly hand while camping in the area that only disappeared after the woman used her fingers to make the sign of the cross. Over time, these and other bizarre sightings have become known as the ghostly hands of Dartmoor. Congratulations, heartbroken vet. I wish I could say the same. I am currently sitting at a solid 270. Dang, I'm heavy. Or could it be possible that this budding photographer has actually captured proof that there is ghosts haunting the area? Tanya, thank you. This video, first uploaded to Fantastic Daily's YouTube channel, shows a man attempting to summon a black-eyed child using an isolated low frequency Every time I hear that black eye, I want to just add peas to the end of it. Quincy signal that he believes the children use to communicate with. To test this theory, the YouTuber sets up a computer near an open window that repeats the sound over and over while a camera records the front porch overnight. Mm. When nothing unusual happens, the you I remember this. This was this is crazy. This is real. YouTuber decides to increase the volume of the recording and try again. At about 3.20 a.m. on the second night, something trips the porch's motion sensor light. However, the camera fails to see what it was. On nights three and four, the camera captures nothing. However, on the fifth night, the porch light is tripped once again. This time, there's a young child with coal black eyes peering eerily through the window. The YouTuber is awoken by strange noises and heads outside to investigate. Using his phone, he scans the porch, but there's nothing there. He then decides to get in his car and drive down the road, but once again fails to locate the creature. Later, when the YouTuber reviews the footage, he's shocked to discover that the creepy figure was actually standing on his porch for a That's no creature. That's a person. Over an hour. When this video first surfaced, it caused quite a stir within the paranormal community. Some claim it's proof that black-eyed children really do exist. Skeptics, on the other hand, were quick to point out that the footage could have been... I don't think it's a black-eyed person. It's just a regular person with regular eyes. ...sleeve been staged. 
Yeah, so what do you staged. think? Is this video? Yeah, this could have easily been staged. Easily. Real or a well-made fake? Without further information, we may never know. In February 2017, a council official in the Spanish town of Vegas del Ganil captured this unsettling image in the local Woo! town hall. The photo shows what appears to be a young girl standing in the middle of the hallway. That's the official creepy. who was working through the night claimed that he suddenly felt the air in his office become very cold. That's creepy. When he got up to go to the bathroom, he heard a strange sound coming from the end of the corridor. Nope, not me. Oh. Fearing that there were thieves in the building, he decided to use his phone to take a photo. He briefly glanced at the image and saw that there was no one there. However, when he reviewed the photo sometime later, he noticed that he had captured what appeared to be a young girl staring back at him. The man showed the picture to several of his colleagues who admitted to having similar experiences while working in the building. The staff urged the mayor of the town to hire a priest or ghost hunters to investigate, but the mayor remained skeptical of the claims, saying, How can I justify hiring a medium when I have residents without electricity? I like the way he thinks. He's like, I'm not about to waste money on something that I'm not even sure is real when I have people that need this money to be spent on something that's far more important like electricity if you want to see some more well yeah we made it to the end of the live stream this is a long one we was in here two and a half hours but man thank y'all so much for hanging out with your boy y'all got about mm, maybe five or six more live streams out of me and then y'all won't be getting any live streams for months and months and months but anyway I know what time it is. If you like this live stream, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the originals will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the ground and Twitter at all the kicks. And I'm going to catch y'all when? In the next one. See ya. Woo. I got to use the bathroom, man. I am very, very sleepy.